Hello, welcome to Google Cloud. Today we're going to talk about Data Lab. So first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to create um, storage because it's going to be useful. So in this case, I'm going to create storage. Okay, I'm going to create a bucket. Let's create. Okay, let's upload a file. I'm going here to downloads, CSV, my TechCrunch, okay, this is just a CSV file. Okay, now I'm going to be query. Where is big, big data? Okay, big query. Click done. So you're going to create a data set. I'm going to call it TechCrunch. Let's create it. So I just created. Now we're going to create a table. Our storage. Okay. I, okay, format or I recognize this. Okay, then a set name. I'm gonna, gonna give this name for them. Table name, auto detect, etc. It's the options for me. That's all. Okay, let's create a table. If I create, I can already strictly run this. Okay, let's create a table. Run. We get our results. Maybe you can just also remove all of it. Should be fine. Okay, you can run it also on the BigQuery. Right, let's run like that without those limits. Let's put less. Now, now let's go from what matters and this lab. Let's. Let, I want to check my zone list. So now we're going to create the lab. So what I have to do, I'm gonna show you guys. Yeah, is this command? So the zone you have to check to choose one. I'm gonna choose U.S. West one A. Oh, I should choose another one. West Central one A. Favorite. Okay, let's give a name. Gateway. So it's going to prepare our data lab. Let's create all the stuff. Takes a minute. Takes a while. <laughs> so low in the furrows, create out the network necessary. A disk is going to have also a REPL, a git REPL. Let's give yes. 
you have to enter a phrase, a pass phrase, repeat, uh, it's creating, gives you a hash if you saw there, there is a hash. You don't need to store it in. And how we're going to access that with the web preview. Let's go. Once it's enabled, it, you go to web preview. Waiting for SSH. Okay, let's check. It's not yet prepared, but you can choose the web preview. In case here, you have to use the port 8081. I know it's not done prepared yet, it's, so you have to wait. Takes a while. Still working on Yeah, this is something you really have to have patience because it takes a lot of time to prepare all the lab. So it's okay. Finally. Yeah.
Yes, the data lab is prepared. Here you have your REPL, or NGIT REPL. All the stuff you do, you can save it here to this REPL. In this case, what we're going to do, we're going to the notebook. In this case, we're going to run the command which I prepared. This is a cell where I can put your command, etc., and you can run it. So in this case, we're going to access the BigQuery from here. You can see the import from BigQuery, okay? And you're going to execute the query. You see the BigQuery command. So you can you can connect to the, all the database you have the solutions you have is database of google cloud from the data lab and you you can work with this data and do a lot of things you can add a python code you can do a lot of also in this case you're gonna run it and you're gonna check the result you can see let's put something here oh, oh sorry order by permalink it's called permalink Okay, permalink desk. You can see that. Now we're going to double check this. Let's minimize. Yeah, that's exactly where it's on. So this is a simple way you can use. This is just a briefly introduction how to to start work with Data Lab, and also uh, I I am telling that you can ex explore all the data solutions to connect from the Data Lab, work with that, and create your own uh, Data Lab stuff. Like it's a, you can you can handle your data that's in, in many many kinds of data and you can mix all of that. And here you have your Git repository, which you, you can save everything you have done. So, thanks for watching, and this is the end of the lab, the data lab. Bye-bye.